So I run the WISE security system. This is a buddy of mine and he wanted to go with the Eufy. So good thing is I'm gonna put it in just to see what the differences are. Let's see if I can get this out of the box. So when you get the kit, this is what comes in it, which is basically like the hard drive. Seems really nice. Packaging's really cool. Here's the cameras. Solar panel on top. I'm wondering how the camera quality is compared to um, the 2K systems on the WISE systems. Looks like pretty self-explanatory. All right, so let's get some of them up. Basically just screw onto the soffit or wherever you want to put them. Just got to make sure that they get two to three hours of sunlight a day. They say down to, I think, two hours. Yeah, just two hours of direct sunlight. So that's pretty nice. Should be easily done. So basically you've got your power wire that runs from here. This needs an extension cord, but it goes the plug. You plug it in the back. And then you've got this plug at the top that you can charge your cameras to start with in case you're putting them up and they're not gonna get enough sunlight or in the winter, if you've got to take a camera down and charge it, there's a charger here. There's two ports on the back, so you can charge with both of these. And then this plugs directly into your modem or modem router combo uh, for your internet, which is over to here. And basically I'm letting this one charge right now and I'm gonna put it up. So you can see here, I'm adding a camera to the system. Super simple. Once you have everything plugged up, you just push the back of the sync button. It'll find the camera. You can name it whatever you want. And then once you're done doing that, you'll see the other steps coming up. You can see here I'm picking the camera up. It says it's got great connection. I'm a little leery on this part holding up, but this part's metal. Plastic press ring to hold it in place and then plastic, plastic clamp ring, which goes onto this. You put two bolts on each, or two screws on each side. You can angle it however but then this screws onto it. So, I just wonder how long, I don't know why they wouldn't have used a metal ring here. Other than that, I mean, it's really nice made. I guess we'll see over time. So basically you screw this little part right here. And this is where you can charge it from if you're not getting enough sun. It goes on the back, but you can see the little solar panel on top. You screw that piece up there on that, and then you can angle this any way you want, spin it however. All right, so there's one up. You can see how it screws to it. Like I said, this is just two screws. This screws onto here and sucks that to it, and then this screws into here. For some reason, this housing wouldn't tighten up all the way, so there's a shaft that runs up through this and presses against that ball and that's how you stabilize it. But for some reason it wouldn't tighten up. So I stuck, I just stuck some plastic wrapper in there and then pulled it to it and it tightened it up to where it's like super tight now. So if you guys happen to get one that's not snug, 
and you don't want to wait for them to send you a new one, that's an easy fix. This is going in the app so you guys can see the different rooms here. It's showing the different cameras on the app. This is a live feed coming up here. Here is a night vision shot zoomed in up to eight times. Still learning how to scan with it. When you turn the spotlight on, then you can see in the night a whole lot better. Here's some of the actual settings. I'll go through some of these. So you can see you've got different detection types. <laughs> so it's black and white until it detects something, then it turns to color vision. And you can see how the picture quality was during the daytime on there. This is a panoramic 2K camera, but it would only let it record in one or, uh, well, 1080p until you put a memory card in it. These have two-way audio. So you can see here, this is another camera. There's four around the house and two inside. This is a couple of the actual things that it picked up. One thing that's really cool is the bionic mind can detect faces. So once you get them linked in there, it'll know whose face it is. This is some video it caught of me walking around the ladder. You can save it into your phone. 